हेलो फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू थर्मोडाइनमिक्स लेट्स गो टू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड व्हाट इज थर्मोडाइनमिक्स थर्मोडाइनमिक्स इज द साइंस विच रिलेटेड विच इज रिलेटेड टू मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसफर एंड इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेस दैट इज सराउंडिंग इट इज बेस्ट on the observation of common experiences which have been formulated into thermodynamic laws these laws govern the principles of energy conservation let's see the applications of thermodynamics uh, you see a uh, gas turbines combustion engines gas dynamics jet pro- pro- uh, propulsions compressors chemical processes plants and direct energy conservation devices that uh, these are the some examples or applications of thermodynamics uh, physical physical properties which are basically related to the matter so let's see the behavior of matter uh, there are two types of behavior of matter first is microscopic and second one is second one is microscopic let's see first microscopic macroscopic approach uh, a certain quantity of matter is considered in case of macroscopic and in case of microscopic point of view matter is composed of myriads of molecules uh, these two terms can be explained with help with the help of example uh you uh, if you go at the high mountain level you can experience a wind pressure uh in case of macroscopic the pressure is measured in terms of average average force uh, ex- uh experienced by the all molecules on a human body but but in case of microscopic point of view the uh, the force is ex- experienced to the human body by the each and every molecule is measured and it is calculated in in case of microscopic let's go to the another slide thermodynamic system uh, the thermodynamic system may be defined as the definite area or space where thermodynamic processes is taking place it is the region where we pay attention or we pay focused for studying ther- thermodynamic processes uh the 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 remaining area the remaining area that is the remaining area with with partition that is boundaries is called as surroundings the surrounding and system is separated by a boundary you can you can see in case of this figure please refer to the, this figure for better understanding let's go to the another slide these are the classifications of thermodynamic system first is closed system second one is open system and third one is isolated system uh, first see closed system the closed system is one whose boundaries are are determined by the space of matter occupied in it uh, in case of closed system energy can energy uh, a closed system does not permit any mass transfer across its boundary but it permits transfer of energy uh, let's see the example uh, you drive a two wheel two wheeler vehicle in the case of piston in case of piston cylinder engine it is a perfect type of closed system in this uh, in this energy its energy it's transferred but the mass that is petrol or diesel is constant in that system let's go to the another uh, type of system that is open system open system is a type of system where heat and work may not cross may may also cross the boundary sorry sorry may also cross the boundary please note this point uh, let's see the example uh, if you if you store a coffee in in a, a thermal flask and if you open it and 
let's pour that coffee into a cup that is that is the mass and energy is transferred from the open flask to the cup it, this is called as open system let's uh, see the third type of system that is isolated system a system which is completely uninfluenced by the surrounding is called as an isolated system it is a system of fixed mass and no heat or work energy crosses the boundary a perfect perfect example of a isolated system is an universe uh, thank you for watching this video and please 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 subscribe to my channel and like this video please